Hey guys, so today I've got a couple farmhouse DIYs for you. This is a special video because it is in collaboration with Kylie Danielle XO and I'll be sure to link her channel in the description box below. Um, she also has some farmhouse decor for you and um, make sure you stop by her and channel and subscribe. She does a lot of um, Dollar Tree DIYs and I even seen a really great thrift haul the other day. So my first thing that I'm doing is I'm taking these collage frames. They hold three four by six photos and we're going to make a lantern. Now all I'm doing here is pulling out the little like brad pieces that hold in the glass and the backing and you want to be really careful when pulling these out needle nose pliers are the best thing i found to pull them out but you just kind of want to wiggle them back and forth these frames um, are kind of like a plastic and foam i don't know um they're basically like foam board and plastic had a baby and made these frames. So they are a little bit delicate, so you don't want to pull too hard. It's just best to wiggle back and forth. I do recommend that if you're not leaving those brads in there, which you can see them if you don't take them out, but just to glue in the glass to make sure that your glass does not fall in on you. So I am just putting a bead of glue at the top and the bottom. Um, the fix all super glue that you can get at Dollar Tree is probably a better idea than just um, hot glue like I did. Once you get all of your glass, you're just going to kind of seal them up. Now, this is where I failed. <laughs> and you'll notice that this was definitely on a different day when I finished this up because I only used hot glue. You need something stronger an industrial strength glue is going to work much better for you so the um the fix all that you can get at dollar tree would work fine or if you have e6000 please use that let it cure overnight and then come back to your lantern the next day because i can tell you that this fell apart <laughs> so i ended up gluing mine up with e6000 and um just learn from my mistakes <laughs> do it right the first time so I am just lining everything up and see I thought I was doing good by putting it on um, between the frames and then like kind of like caulk I put it in there and then rubbed it in with an orange stick that was not enough to hold it you need a stronger glue now what I did for the top of mine is I just took this scrap piece of foam board um, if you have black foam board, that would be much easier than painting it, but I was trying to use a scrap instead of buying a whole new sheet. Dollar Tree does carry black and white foam board, um, so whichever you, you decide. I have seen a lot of people do it with another picture frame on top. Um, I decided to spare the cost, and there's not really a square frame that fits perfectly on this size lantern, so um, this is what I decided would work best. So I just um, cut that out. Now it is easier to cut with a utility knife, however I use my Dollar Tree utility knives a lot, and they all have dull blades. So I'm just going in with scissors and cutting around that line. And there is my last cut. And now I'm just going to give it some black acrylic paint. Um, if you buy the black foam board at Dollar Tree, it does have a white core. It's like black paper on the outside of a white core. So when once you cut it, you do want to kind of touch it up with a black Sharpie or a little bit of paint around the edge or you will have a white edge so i'm just giving this an all-over coat now my dollar tree was out of these drain stoppers but this the top one for the smaller sink would be great as a handle or knob on top and then i have some of these milk bottles i have four of them just gave them a coat of white acrylic paint and um, let them dry really good and then I took a Dollar Tree sanding block and just scuffed over the 
front where the design is made it look a little bit more worn. And now I'm just going to take some jute twine and tie, like wrap around several times and tie some bows. I do want it to wrap around several times, so I am pulling out a little bit. And I picked up the scissors with my left hand. Um, had a little bit of trouble cutting that jute, but it wasn't my scissors, just me. So I'm just cutting off four links of that so I can tie my bows. You see I have black paint all over the back of my hand. How cute. Those are Dollar Tree, um, the Betty Crocker kitchen scissors, but um, I actually have KitchenAid kitchen scissors, so I use these for crafts because they are pretty sharp. So I'm just going to wrap, twist, wrap around again, and I'm going to go until I've just got little tails. And I realized that I didn't end in the front, so I'm just going back to make sure that I end in the front to tie my bows. And just tying on the last one. Now, I um, just took a little piece of burlap. I, I had a hard time finding this in my store, but you can always use the burlap ribbon. And I just freehanded um, an O and a number one and a three. And I do recommend using two pieces to do this, putting your one that you have your number on on the outside, and then putting some hot glue and placing the plain piece of burlap on the inside. That'll hold it together and it'll also cover up all of the glue that would be on the back. So I know that's not super pretty. It probably would be prettier if I would go over it uh, with some paint instead of just a sharpie. But I also had picked up these numbers at Michael's in the clearance section, they were like 25 cents and I just happened to have a one and a three. I thought they were super cute, but I've also seen little wooden cutout tags. So you could totally make your own. Um, they're a lot thinner than this, but um, you could totally make your own little tags to go on here. You could even do brown craft paper. Wouldn't even have to be the burlap. But so I am just I know I'm a little bit out of frame, and I'm just tying on that number three. I think both of them look super cute. So you could do it either way. And these little baskets, I honestly didn't really like them as far as a basket goes, but I think once you do just a little bit, you could even wrap the handles in jute, and I think that would elevate this um, really simple basket a whole lot and make it fit your decor a lot better if you're kind of farmhouse or rustic chic like I am. So now I am just... Um, going to show you what it looks like with the burlap tags glued on. And like I said, if you can't find the burlap, um, it kind of looks like a remnant of fabric. If you can't find those, you can always use the burlap ribbon. Dollar Tree always has that. 
or you can um, make your own little tag to hang off. I just chose numbers one and three because I thought it was better than number two. Um, we kind of laughed about that, but I just chose one and three. I think odd numbers um, play into decorating a little bit better than even numbers. So you just want to uh, put a little bit of glue down and then lay the plain piece of burlap on the inside so you can make sure and cover up all of your hot glue. And I wanted, the reason I put these on is I wanted to show you what the wooden tag looked like, but also show you what you could do with a little burlap scrap. So I'm just gonna set these in here. These would also be super cute with flowers. I think I'll grab a few Dollar Tree flowers to show you what they look like. Here is everything all finished. I just staged my lantern with a um, cupcake or candle plate that I made using Dollar Tree items. I put little plastic eggs in my basket and that iron cross is actually from the Dollar Tree as well. Just some battery operated candles. My knob on top is actually a um, bottle cap that came off of my um, pure leaf tea. And here are those milk bottles with flowers in them. I really think these were super easy to do. Very quick if you glue your lantern right the first time. Um, I think they turned out really nice. Thanks don't forget to check out Kylie Danielle XO. Again, her channel will be linked down below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe on my videos.